Hey, welcome to the channel or welcome back. This video deals with some of the trials and tribulations of new home ownership. Uh, in our case, it's not new construction. It is new to us. The place was built in 1957. We just moved in a few months ago. And things have been popping up, little projects or little fix-it jobs. But this one is something that everyone who owns a home needs to watch because it is a very potential danger, safety hazard, and something that you need to look at and have addressed, whether you repair it yourself or have someone do it for you. Um, and it deals with the clothes dryer. The other day... Um, get a call from the other end of the house saying, hey, can you come down to the laundry room? Something's wrong. I go down there and I'm like, what's up? He says, well, the clothes dryer just quit. It was running just fine and then just stopped. You turn the dials, you push the button, nothing happens. It's dead as a post. So I'm like, okay, great. One more thing on the list. So... I dug into it a little bit, figured out what was wrong with the clothes dryer itself, but then got a little further into the repair, and uh, you're really not going to believe what you see. So indulge me and watch the next few minutes of video, because what you're going to see could exist in your own home right now and it could potentially be very very dangerous so stay tuned and take a look at this and one of uh, my projects on the list was to clean the duct the exhaust duct and get the lint and stuff out of there and then replace the dried and crusty duct tape with the proper aluminum foil type tape and uh, do that well since the clothes dryer quit that project got moved to the forefront this will reinforce why you periodically have to clean your dryer exhaust duct I don't know the last time this was done if ever um, and I'm looking at it and I pulled the vent off the side of the house along with a section of the uh, metal ducting because it just was easier to do it that way than try to do it from inside the laundry room. And wait until you get a load of this. Well, like I said, I pulled uh, the, the flapper off the side of the house and a length of the duct with it because it's just easier to to clean it out from on the workbench as opposed to trying to do it up in the laundry room so I've already removed some of the crispy crunchy duct tape that was used previously and then marked the uh, the pipe and the and the vent so I could get them back in exactly the same spot and then this is another joint and this is just the the vinyl type duct tape which is good for air ducts, but not for something with heat because this just gets crispy and it doesn't, the adhesive dries out and it doesn't really do much of anything anymore. But this is why you need to clean your dryer vent ducts from time to time. So let's see if I can separate this. Okay. Trying to hold the phone in one hand and do this in another. That is a fire waiting to happen. Reach my hand inside this disgusting mess. That is easily a half an inch thick. 
of just lint, hair, and dust. Just waiting for a spark. Hello, back at it a little more. I've got the uh, hood that pokes through the house wall cleaned up and repaired and got that section of duct cleaned out. Now I'm working on the the duct that runs through the joist and then elbows down to the back of the dryer. This has got to be years of neglect. I mean, it just comes out in pieces. This is the bottom of the duct. I can actually cut it with my fingernails and bring out a blanket of felt. Look at this. Pretty scary stuff, huh? Yeah, I was totally amazed at the volume of blockage, crud, and stuff that was in that air duct. What I wound up doing was getting a dryer duct cleaning kit from my local big box home improvement store. Whether it be Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, whatever, they're, they're out there. And they're only about 20 to $30. And uh, in my instance, I only needed the smaller kit because my ductwork was uh, 10 or 12 feet total in length. And what it wound up to be was a, a round bristle brush on a long flexible uh, wire that you would stick in the duct and scrub back and forth. And the other kit is the, the same round bristle brush, but it's on rods that you slide in, scrub, screw on another rod for more length, shove it in, scrub, and then pull it out and clean up the stuff. So, and even if you don't want to do this yourself, contract a duct cleaning outfit and get this done. Um, it is cheap insurance for a very potentially dangerous problem. In my instance, the clogged duct work caused a failure in a component in my clothes dryer because it couldn't breathe. It, the exhaust was restricted, the safety mechanisms kicked in, and a sacrificial fuse in my clothes dryer failed and that's what caused it to quit working but anyway please get this done it's cheap insurance it's cheap peace of mind so thanks for watching uh, i hope all is well in whatever part of the world you're watching from and stay tuned for future videos and hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Thank you and we'll see you soon.